Hi viewers, welcome to Elama Solution. Today we are going to see about uh, working of induction generator in MATLAB. So here we are going to create, a, uh, I mean we are going to make induction motor as a induction generator. How it is going to be work and then we have to uh, discuss the, the performance of induction generator and induction motor when we are going to change the operation from motor to generator, generator to motor. So for that you go to open that simulating uh, working sheet and then click here simulating browser and then go to simscape and then comes to power system and then comes to specialized technology and then fundamental blocks. Here you can see the machine slide, just you click machines and then just you have to take this asynchronous machine in per unit okay so and then i am going to use another uh, block nothing but a three phase source so just we have to connect that uh, induction machine or as asynchronous machine with the three phase source so just go to electrical source and then uh, just you have to take uh, three phase source okay and connect this three phase source to the induction or asynchronous machine directly and here you have to fix the rating for that uh, induction machine so here I am going to take uh, machine rating is 5.4 HP 400 volt 50 hertz 1430 rpm machine okay and I am going to apply this and here I am going to fix the voltage is 400 volt and frequency is 50 hertz and then you have to untick this one and then I am going to apply this one ok so now the source is connected to the as asynchronous machine so this asynchronous machine can be operated a motor and, uh, and generated so based upon that uh, torque input ok so next time I am going to use some constant block constant block and it will be connected here ok next uh, we need to check the result of induction machine like we need to check the result of uh, uh, speed of the induction machine torque of the induction machine and uh, current of the induction machine ok so for that I am going to use bus selector And here in bus selector we are going to measure the, the mechanical rotor speed, electromagnetic torque and then I am going to measure the state of current. Okay. So next I am going to use scope to see the result of rotor speed, electromagnetic torque and the state of current ok so here I am going to use number of input will be 3 and layout will be 3 and I am going to change the style of the scope ok so now I am going to connect this scope here so that's all the simple setup about that operation of induction machine so before that we need another uh, block with nothing but power GA right so with the power GA it won't work ok just you go to place here so now I am going to simulate this model ok so now I am going to simulate the model now here you can see that I am uh, that means input for the torque will be I am fixing at one per unit ok so now I am going to simulate this one We will see the result. So here you will see that on the speed is maintained less than one, right? So speed in rotor speed in per unit, right? Electromagnetic torque in per unit. Okay. So here you can see that the speed is uh, maintained less than one per unit, uh, and also you can see the electromagnetic torque. So torque is maintained to one per unit. 
okay so the growth the sign will be positive that means machine is operated at the operator say a motor okay so i'm just i'm going to reduce the time and then i'm going to simulate again now so now now you can see that uh, stator current will be sinusoidal and then on speed of the machine will be less than or one per unit and then torque will be maintained at one per unit okay so now that mean when making that in induction machine from motor into generation right then the machine speed will be more than synchronous speed okay for example the synchronous speed of the machine is 1500 rpm right so when we are making the speed of the machine is more than 1500 rpm then it will be going to be operated as a generator okay so here i am going to make the torque input is minus 1 okay and then i am going to check the result now so now here we can easily understand right uh, that the speed will be, speed is less than less than uh, uh, one per unit only that means is operated at a rated speed condition only okay so now i am going to simulate the same model with the torque input will be minus 1 so now you can see here right so the speed is more than one per unit right so here the torque input will be i may uh, that mean i change to minus 1 because of uh, i want to operate that same machine as a, a generator okay so that's why the speed of the machine now is more than one per unit right here you can see that is is more than one per unit and then torque electromagnetic torque is around minus 1 so now system is operate, operated at a generator right that mean that induction machine asynchronous machine is operate, at, operated at a generator so now i'm going to have another block right i'm just i'm going to connect the step input okay so here i'm going to make the step time equal to 0.1 so initially i'm going to plan to operate the machine is in motor condition and i'm going to change the operation from motor to generation so that's why initial value i'm fixing uh, fixing at to one per unit and then final value equal to minus one per unit so this will be happen up after 0.5 seconds okay so just i'm going to simulate this model and then you have to check the results okay so now we can see that uh, the variation right so here up to 0.5 seconds you can see here right the machine is up uh, the mean uh, the machine speed is less than 1 per unit only okay so once the after 0.5 seconds the torque mechanical torque change from 1 per unit to minus 1 per unit so you can see the the speed of the machine is more than 1 per unit right so so as per that concept right uh, generation concept so speed of the machine is uh, go to more than one per unit that means more than synchronous speed so motor now change from uh, that means machine will be changed from motoring operation to generation operation so this is working of induction machine so induction generator operation in the matlab so thanks for watching our videos kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos thank you thank you so much bye bye